using planar connection sets. In this task, we assemble the component using the planar connection set. Disable all datum display types. In the ribbon, click Assemble from the component group. In the Open dialog box, select planar2.prt, then click Open. In the Component Placement Dashboard, select Planar from the user-defined drop-down menu. Select the Planar surface at the top of planar1.prt and the bottom of planar2.prt as references for the planar constraint. Enable Plane Display and Point Display. In the Dashboard, click Placement to open the Placement tab. Select Translation 1. In the Graphics area, select Datum Plane Right and Datum Point Connect Ref. Edit the value of the current position to 0 and press Enter. Select the Enable Regeneration Value checkbox. Select the Minimum Limit checkbox. Edit the value to negative 28 and press Enter. Select the Maximum Limit checkbox. Edit the value to 28 and press Enter. Select Translation Axis 2. In the Graphics area, select Datum Plane Front and Datum Point Connect Ref. Edit the value of the current position to 0 and press Enter. Select the Enable Regeneration Value checkbox. Select the Minimum Limit checkbox. Edit the value to negative 28 and press Enter. Select the Maximum Limit checkbox. Edit the value to 28 and press Enter. Select Rotation Axis. In the Graphics area, select the Datum Plane Front from both models. If necessary, edit the value of the current position to 0 and press Enter. Select the Enable Regeneration Value checkbox. Click Complete Component from the Component Placement tab. Disable Plane Display and Point Display. Click Drag Components from the Component group, then select Planar2.prt and drag it through its motion. Note, you can drag the component in all three degrees of freedom, but you cannot drag the component beyond the minimum and maximum limits you have defined. Click in the Graphics area to release the model. Click Close in the Drag dialog box. Click Regenerate Model from the Quick Access Toolbar. This completes the demonstration.